Sounds like you're all pretty avid Bible students, or we are. Okay, we have uh, we're continuing. It's a continuous uh, learning process for us. Uh, okay, like I've been baptized about 12 years now. Okay, I've got a man over here who's been baptized probably about 40 years now, and uh, and we all we go to about five meetings a week. Five meetings a week. Five meetings a week. Why do you go to five meetings a week? To keep our spiritual. Uh, feeding going because okay. if you if you if you slow down on it you'll fade away from it and you'll You'll, you'll move away from the congregation and you won't draw close to God that way. How many ordained ministers would you say that your religion has as opposed to like the Catholic Church, for example? Each and every, one, each and every baptized witness is an ordained minister. And how, many, we're all, we're all and how many Jehovah's Witnesses are there? Well, I'd say there's probably about 7,200,000 worldwide right now. 7,200,000? 7 7.2 million. million. About that, yeah. And Watch every about one of them is an ordained minister. Okay. I'm 12 years old and I want to get baptized as a Jehovah's Witness. That makes me an ordained minister? Precisely. Okay, and so what are my what are my duties as a Jehovah's Witness ordained minister? You do what Christ commands to go out into the world and uh, teach and preach about the kingdom just as Jesus did. Okay, just like Jesus did? That's right. Okay, and so what do I need to do to get saved then? Endure to the end. Endure to the end? That's what Jesus said, endure okay. to the end. So what's the process for becoming a Jehovah's Witness? Uh, Bible study. Okay. And take in the knowledge, yeah, accurate knowledge of God and the of the kingdom and the uh, Jehovah's Standards. Are you the folks with the uh, Watchtower magazines? Yeah. Okay, so if I wanted to become a Jehovah's Witness, I would study with the witnesses? Yes. Okay, and we would study what? <laughs> The Bible. The Bible. Yep. Just the Bible? Just the Bible. We have some learning, uh, we have some teaching uh, tools going on with it. So, uh, what do you mean teaching tools? Well, what they are, they're like a, like a what do I want to say? I'm lost for words here. My wife keeps calling me. So you have Bible teaching tools, which, which I imagine are Watchtower publications? Yeah. Okay. If I wanted to study the Bible using just the Bible itself, would you teach me the Bible without the Watchtower publications? You could do that. Is there any point during the Bible study in which you would introduce Watchtower publications or make it mandatory for me to have studied them before I could become an ordained minister? Well, nothing's mandatory. It's all by choice. What we do is our So I could become our an ordained our Jehovah's... Teaching, our teaching program is we lay out the... We show you, the, we show you what the Bible teaches. Oh, okay. I want to watch your interview. Uh, okay. Hey there, how's it going? Well, what we do is we lay out, you know, we, we, we show you Hi. what the Bible teaches. <laughs> okay. We just give you the, each individual the information. Okay, and, so if and I wanted each, to... And each person yeah. will decide for himself what he's going to do with that information. So if I wanted to become an ordained Jehovah's Witness minister, could I decline the study of Watchtower publications? You can do what you want. But would you accept me as, as an ordained minister? Uh, that would depend on... Uh, that would depend on how you, uh, how would that, well, let's see, how uh, I put this. Hey there. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's say that I did study Watchtower Publications. I can see you're kind of stuck, and that's okay. Yeah. Okay, let's say I studied Watchtower Publications, and let's say I got baptized as a witness, and I read something in the Watchtower that I completely disagreed with, so I came to you and I said, I disagree. I don't believe that 1914 was the year that our Lord returned. What would you say to me as a baptized witness? I would say, uh, well, I'd probably have to ask you what church you belong to. <laughs> yours. I, I, well, yours. I, uh, I'm a baptized witness. So, and I disagree with you. Excuse me. Yeah. You. Yes. Gate C. T. I didn't think there was a gate T. Well, just one more question. What happens to me if I disagree with you as a baptized witness? If I agree with Watchtower teaching, what happens to me if I disagree with you or the Watchtower? You just go out and live your life. What would you do to me? Nothing. 
would you put me out of the organization and label me apostate? No. No, you wouldn't call me an apostate if I disagreed with you. It refused to change my mind. No, you probably... Could I remain in the congregation and associate with you? You could. I could. Yeah. You still there? No. Okay, thanks, Mike. Okay. All right.